friends, welcome back to my kitchen, Bauna's kitchen. Today, I'm going to review one of the Kosori brand product, which claims to be multifunctional um, product, air fryer, toaster oven, and dehydrator, all in one. So I thought it's worth trying. Now, as you can see, here I have already Kosori brand air fryer. I have um, Cuisine Art toaster oven and again Kosori brand uh, dehydrator. Now you will say I'm so much into all these kind of appliances, but I am. I welcome any hands and any robots in my kitchen because we are a family of six and I have two growing active boys. It keeps us really busy and um, I can't afford to hire human to do all these chores for me. I can definitely afford some of the appliances that can do great work for me. So that's the reason I always prefer to invest in appliances. So, this is how it looks like. Pretty good sturdy Kosori brand air fryer toaster and dehydrator. I can see some of the functions listed already over here. Broil, toast, bagel, pizza, air fry, cookies, dehydrate, um, bake, roast, warm, and ferment. Wow, I didn't know ferment. I will have to check that out. Um, and on the other side, all the functionality to operate the air fry toaster oven. Um, I can see two knobs. You know, the temperature shows in a Celsius and Fahrenheit. The convection function. When you are using the toaster oven, probably, or bake, you can choose convection and start cancel button. And this is the panel. So you can see that three appliances taking space right now on my uh, counter. I usually keep the dehydrator in my garage. I just bring it uh, out when I want to use it. Uh, because I have a lot of sun outside which I can use to dehydrate my uh, uh, food so that way it absorbs vitamin D as well from sun so I prefer sun dried over dehydrator but when the sun is not in my favor this comes handy it also came with all these accessories prepare your kitchen and your appetite so sorry so the user manual recipe book and the tray that goes at the bottom for all the you know dripping or crumbs that you get uh, just like in a toaster oven this is the non-stick tray basket for air frying and the rack for toasting probably now you must have a question, um, just like I had the question, why didn't Kusuri make this in the first place? But I think it's all about process. Um, we wouldn't even come to know that uh, how to make just everything all in one unless we discover something first. Um, but anyways, whatever the reason, and uh, I think that I am going to load this product if it works really good for me. Um, to replace the air fryer, toaster oven, and the dehydrator. Um, most likely for air fryer because uh, when I use the traditional Kusori brand air fryer, I can't see the food that's you know cooking inside. Uh, with this one, I will be able to see um, the progress of the food being done. Um, and when I try something for the first time uh, in the Traditional air fryer, I have to just, you know, like keep on uh, pulling out the basket to um, check the food. That will be like taken care of with this one. So I'm so excited to try out um, the air fryer toaster oven. And the, the plus point is that now I can uh, prepare food in, uh, in a bigger quantity. Alright, so let's check out now um, the air fryer toaster. I'm going to remove all these three appliances from here and let's put this up 
I have to wash all the accessories before I use them. So I'm going to do that. So I got a good amount of space. First, let's get inside. Okay, as you can see for the toaster oven, I can see the bars at the bottom, the heating bars, and on the top as well. And on the side, just like you have the coil in to the air fryer, there is a coil on the side of the air fryer toaster oven. And I can see the option for three racks, the bottom, middle, and top. And so the rack like this can go in. And you can actually cook multiple recipes in this one as well. Um, this is the air frying basket. Yep. The dripping tray. So, as you can see, top, middle, and bottom. And now let's look at some of the functions. Actually, I'm going to remove everything right now. And let's plug it in. Alright, so the panel is activated now as you can see. Okay, so right now it says toast and it has preset for probably 4 minutes, I guess. I don't think that will be, but or maybe the level, whatever. Uh, but I think it says the time, I guess, uh, because I can see the sign over here. But you can always adjust from the bottom knob. Yeah, yes, and then you can just, you know, increase, decrease the... Uh, the level, this one is lighter, medium, and dark toasted, so that's a good. I mean, once you, you know, you get your hands on this one, you can do these things easily. So, as you can see, that's pretty easy. For the functions, like toast, bagel, pizza, you just use the top knob. So, as you can see, it's moving from bagel to pizza as I go, like, on the right side of my hand it's going to air fry okay so now right now it's on air fry and preset is 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 25 minutes which again can be adjusted from uh, the bottom knob as you can see right now it's changing the temperature one more time let's press and it goes on the timer so here you can adjust the timer so pretty easy just like um, you know, I have used the air fryers in the past um, just to practice. It's all about practicing. Now, I was curious about ferment. So I'm going to go on to that one. Cookies, rotis. I don't know what is rotis. I mean, probably roasteries. Dehydrated and ferment. So now I'm on ferment. So it says like maybe one hour and then 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So probably the pizza dough or something if you have a really hard time fermenting you can probably pop into this um, air fryer toaster dehydrator fermenter i mean i can now call it fermenter as well i guess so yeah it seems like pretty good functions and warm function as well so looks like promising something here and i am so looking forward to it i'm going to unplug now, I'm sure you must be excited to see me preparing the recipes using this uh, air fryer toaster oven. I can already see yummy pizza, which I am so desperate to try. I usually prepare my uh, pizza pies and, uh, you know, like small pizza in the toaster oven or like in the big oven if I have to prepare in a big batch. But um, when I have to just prepare for two of my boys or something, this will be really helpful. And uh, there are so many other yummy recipes I can see, vegetables, cheesecake, um, and the kale chips. Wow, that looks interesting. Okay, now, I was using air fryer for so many um, Indian recipes. One of them was preparing gol gappas, like a puris for pani puri. I simply love to, uh, you know, air fry gold kapas instead of uh, deep frying in oil. So let's check out today if I can prepare the gold kapas in this air fryer because 
If I can't, then I can't replace their, their traditional air fryer. So, uh, but I can I definitely use for many other recipes, so I'm going to try this. And today I'm just going to try without any oil actually, this whole cup pass. So, because I just want to try first, I don't want to spoil my too many gorga pass. So I'm going to try five of them and let's see. So I'm going to pop this into the air fryer toaster on a middle rack. Now in the traditional air fryer, I was using like 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about three minutes. Now let's see for this one. Let's bring on to the air fryer first. So it's on air fryer and it's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that's the max for 25 minutes. So I'm going to definitely reduce the time. So reduce the time. I'm going to keep it on uh, 10 minutes actually because now that I can see um, the food inside, there won't be a problem if it, if it gets done before, I can just, you know, cancel the function. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, start. So as you can see, they are almost done, but I just want a little golden brown color and one of them is not done yet, but I will still need to remove the ones that are done. So now that I can see the food being cooked inside, it's easy for me to prepare many things. I'm happy with this, you know, toaster, air fryer, and it looks like the other gorgapas are done. So I'm just going to stop at this point and open it. In the next batch, I may try with a little bit of oil just to see the texture and the taste of the gorgapas. The one of them I can just use for papri chat that's not swollen the one that's not done properly now that I'm able to make gorgapas into toaster air fryer I'm going to try some with oil this time so just coat with a little bit of oil and ready to pop into the air fryer so here I have those gorgapas coated with oil be sure to spread them in a single layer and start again for these kind of recipes make sure that your um, toaster air fryer is preheated and then pop the food in And um, I think I personally like the texture of the gorgapas with a lightly coated oil. As you can see the color and the softness, the little bit of soft crunch is better than without any oil. So, it so seems like it's gonna work and the gorgapas are done. So turn off and look at them. So, if this air fryer toaster can make gorgapas for me, I can make it work for anything, I guess. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to know more about um, this Kosori 3-in-1 you know, air fryer toaster dehydrator, you can check out the link under um, this video description. One thing to keep in mind is that this unit gets really hot. So, make sure to, you know, use it with care when you have a kids around you otherwise it just you know all good you can mount this uh, unit somewhere just like you know like the microwave just like the microwave is mounted in the kitchen i wish i had um this unit came in before so i could have just mounted that somewhere up here like this I then tried baking some empanadas and it came out really well. As you can see, the ones that are done, perfectly baked empanadas. Two of them are still baking that I added later. I also tried making bindi sabji, fried okra, into the toaster oven air fryer, Kusori brand. They turn out pretty good just to season with salt, turmeric, add a little bit of oil, mix it 
and bake or fry at 400 degrees Fahrenheit to the desired result. If you like crunchy, you can cook a little bit more. When the okras are 60% cooked, add the remaining spices like red chili powder, ground coriander, cumin, garlic powder, if desired a little bit of oil, and then finish cooking. So here I have the okra fry from frozen, ready to serve. And also don't forget to visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Baunas Kitchen is everywhere. You can download Baunas Kitchen apps for free on your mobile devices, iOS, Android and more. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Amazon, Roku or YouTube app. Thanks for watching and see you soon.